Hi everyone, this is Judy from Happy Holistics and this is a video about mindful practices that you can start today in order to calm your shit down, especially for this time of the year, the holiday season. What's usually meant to be a time spent with family and friends, we often get caught up in trying to get the latest toy for our kids, in trying to meet work deadlines in order to take a day off, or even hosting family dinner. What started out as good intentions can often lead to stressing us the hell out. So this year, let's see if we can change our habits. Let's see if we can take the 10 to 15 minutes to invest in ourselves and in our mental health. Take the 10 minutes to reset and regroup so that we can actually, dare I say it, enjoy the holidays? Hopefully, fingers crossed. I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that I think we really all need it. But before we begin, if you do enjoy watching videos on meditation, yoga, nutrition, and healthy living in general, please remember to subscribe to my channel by hitting that red button underneath this video. It seems like adult coloring is still a trend and if you walk into any bookstore, you'll have ample options for coloring books and coloring kits. Here I'm showing you supercoloring.com where you can download and print coloring pages at no cost or you can color it electronically on your device. Coloring promotes a relaxed and calm state, but make sure you're not doing about a hundred other things at the same time or making it into an intention of how fast can I get this over with so that I can get on with the rest of my day. Unlike what I'm doing now, take the time to focus on the coloring. I print some pages directly into my happy planner as a reminder for myself. You can also download free podcasts from iTunes. I enjoy my meditation station with Stin Hansen. She's got an incredible meditative voice and if you enjoy or prefer guided meditations, this might be a good option for you. I also made a guided walking meditation video which I'll link down below. It's exactly what the title implies. We're tuning into how the body feels in contact with the earth, the movements of your body, and any sensations or even sounds as we walk. As you can see, I prefer to walk outside. My good friend Trish Krauss always reminds her clients to spend time in nature as a practice. It's called Shin Rin Yoku or forest bathing and it's an excellent way of connecting to our earth and promoting profound relaxation. The Mystic Cookbook is one of the most beautiful cookbooks I've ever owned. It suggested eating, cooking, and if I recall correctly, even doing dishes as meditation practices. They say, and I agree with them, that it's not what we do that's important, it's how we do them that makes it so. Compare the act of scarfing down our dinners over the sink to rush our kids off to hockey practice, to sitting down, enjoying the smells, the mouthfeel, and the menagerie of flavors. Like with everything else I've mentioned today, tune in and experience, rather than operating on autopilot. Writing or journaling is a good way to get all of our emotions and feelings out onto paper so that we can release them from our psyche. If you'd rather have a guided writing practice, the one in my happy planner is the Loving Kindness Meditation from the Mindfulness Meditation Institute. I'll leave the link below and what you do is copy out a passage. This one encourages healing and compassion. It's about three pages long, but you can do a paragraph a day until you finish or whatever you feel like. There are no hard and fast rules, just that you connect to what you're writing about. If you prefer to focus on a sentence or mantra a day, you can do that as well, either written or spoken. Sometimes I choose a self-love affirmation from You Can Heal Your Life by Louise Hay. Every chapter begins with a short passage and an affirmation related to the chapter that makes you feel good. Similarly, you can chant a meditation over and over again, either in your head or out loud. Many people use mala bead necklaces that have 108 beads. Start at the guru bead, in this case the cluster of seeds with the tassel. For every chant you do, you count it on the beads until you finish the necklace. This gives you something tactile to focus on if you have trouble with a wandering mind. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching and I hope these meditation practices really help you out for the holiday season and beyond. Comment below if you've tried any of them.